The death of a young Kurdish woman in Iran continues to reverberate around the world. She died in police custody after being detained by the so-called morality police. Protests in that country and here at home are now moving into their fourth week. KTVU's Greg Liggins went to a demonstration in San Francisco this afternoon where even elected officials were getting involved in the movement. Greg. Yeah, Julie, at the moment, these demonstrations do not appear to be losing any steam. In fact, organizers want quite the opposite. They want crowds to grow and for others to join them in their fight for change in Iran. Regime change for Iran! Nadine Ravani was one of hundreds protesting in front of San Francisco City Hall Sunday afternoon. She says she had a first-hand experience with Iran's so-called morality police during a visit to the country when she was 15. She says police accused her of wearing an overcoat that wasn't long enough. I was detained, held in a van for several hours, and uh, eventually uh, released. So I'm, I'm one of the lucky ones that things didn't escalate. I wasn't assaulted. Others like Massa Amini don't always escape such encounters unscathed. The 22-year-old died in police custody in September after being detained for allegedly incorrectly wearing her head covering. Witnesses say she was beaten, and these protesters don't believe the government, who say she had a heart attack. Her death sparked worldwide protest for regime change. The Iranian people attempted to reform the system from within in 2009 in the Green Revolution when an election was stolen from them. And today they are asking for that system to go away. They don't want it anymore. They want something different. And they're putting their bodies in front of batons, live am ammunition. They're risking arrest, but there's no turning back now for them. Some protesters held signs of those recently killed during protest, a number they say surpasses 500. This woman says she's here in solidarity with the people in her homeland. People, they had enough. They cannot suffer more than this anymore. And also they need to get their freedom like other people in the world. And especially for all women in Iran. The podium was filled with local and national elected officials or representatives on their behalf, vowing support for the movement. Regime change for Iran! Regime change was one of many popular chants. While efforts toward that end have been brewing for years, many like Ravani say, this time feels different. This time, I think the people of Iran, the women of Iran, and the men and the allies are fed up. And it, it's just the time. It's just now is the moment. There's no other explanation. Organizers say they plan to continue with ongoing protests to raise awareness. They say this isn't just an Iranian issue, but is instead a humanitarian issue. And they hope the movement begins to attract others from outside their community. Greg Liggins, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Yeah, and it is touching people around the world. Greg, thank you.